Hey everyone, we're hanging out on the public test server for Star Wars The Old Republic. We're supposed to be checking out some of the combat changes to the game for different classes, as well as the gearing changes coming up for the 7.0 expansion Legacy of the Sith. But while we're on here, the developers are also starting to test out the new user interface elements to the game, and I thought you guys might like to see them. So this is just going to be a really quick little video showing off the new user interfaces. So this is uh, the normal size for them, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn up my user interface really big so that you guys can see it more easily. So the first thing you're going to notice that's very different is the character creator screen. If you happen to go test the test server yourself, you'll notice that both the old one and the new one open up at the same time. This is because the new one's not quite finished. There's missing elements. Not everything might be working. So they let the old one still open up just so you could do anything you needed to do. So let's take a look at that. So the new character sheet is quite large and you can actually decide how big you want it to be. So kind of by default, I believe it, it, opens up to the full size of your screen which I think is really cool very helpful for those who maybe need a little more visual uh, space so you can see the text bigger or it's just a little less cluttered with everything going on but you can also make it small I know it's not very small because I made my interface huge but this uh, will only take up maybe half your screen give or take and what's super cool you can make it smaller bigger all you want what's super cool is that your inventory is already built into your user interface when it comes to your gear. Uh, no longer do you need to open up your character sheet on one side and your inventory on the other to drag your right click gear in. It's right there. And the whole it's the whole inventory uh, that's there. Not just like a partial teeny tiny version. Um, so what can you do here? Not a lot. Uh, I don't have a lot to show. One interesting change is that the stats are not entirely finished yet when i try to open up like how much power do i have it's uh, clearly not finished yet and that's fine we're on the test server but by default right now on the test server it's showing damage survivability and support i don't know exactly what goes into each of those numbers right now but uh, hopefully we'll learn more in the future i don't even know if this is the the finalized kind of thing um you'll notice there's a new alignment bar just kind of pretty looking at the moment i've seen players saying hey what happened to valor and social i don't know if those are disappearing or maybe they're just being moved somewhere else i highly doubt that they're taking them out of the game entirely so from this new character sheet you can actually switch with these tabs at the top they're very very modern looking very modern design which i like quite a bit you can switch over to your combat style which might be known as your combat proficiencies or discipline. So in the future, we've talked about it a little bit. Right now, I'm a trooper vanguard, so that will be my first combat style, I assume. But I'll also be able to pick up a second advanced class, a second combat style. Um, in my case, I might pick, I'm really looking forward to trying out an operative, so I can be a stealth class as well. And here's where you'd pick between your three disciplines. So for my Vanguard, I would switch between tanking and my DPS specs. Here's your abilities on the right here. This is kind of the classic abilities list. And then there's also the ability tree. And this is something new. This is what the big class changes are going to be. And you can actually switch between things. We've seen this on the test server before. But this is the first time we've kind of seen it a little more finalized. It's looking a little more finished. The outfitter is what I think they're starting to call the outfit designer. I don't really know why they changed the name, but here we are. It's not really functioning right now. You can't can't super use it, but you get the general idea. There's your hide head slot, dark side corruption, unify colors. <laughs> and here, I, this is this part makes me laugh. It like changes all kinds of funky colors because it's not quite finished yet. Oh, do I got 16? Can I unlock more? No, I can't even test that right now. That's fine. And uh, same thing, you don't have to open up the outfit designer, the outfitter, and your inventory separately as your inventory is right there. You've got your companion sheet, just kind of kind of like you did before. And loadouts. Loadouts, I can't tell you too much about. As you can see, they're very much not finished, but they're a way to save your combat style choices, disciplines, gear, cosmetic outfit, everything all at once into a saved preset. And you'll be able to just click it and like apply it. Um, 
when they were talking about this in an interview, they said you might get four if you're a subscriber for save slots, but I'm seeing, I'm seeing more. So I'm very hopeful that we'll have more in the future. So let's take a look at some of these other UI elements. By the way, there's a double menu up here. Uh, they actually said in a developer post, just, just ignore that. You know, it's up here. It's fine. And uh, while you're kind of looking around, you may notice there is something kind of vaguely different, even with the windows that we're already used to seeing that haven't really changed much. For example, the mission log really hasn't changed that much at all, as far as I can tell. But the text, the text is a lot clearer. I don't know exactly what they changed, but something about it is a lot easier to read and it seems to scale better. So I'm very, very happy about that. I don't know when they decided that was priority, but I'm very happy that they did. So the next thing that I'm going to show you is the inventory changes. So once again, all this is not finished. The big WIP means work in progress. Like they literally slapped it on there so nobody gets confused. And here's what the new inventory is looking like. Um, it's not quite finished. You can actually see some of my inventory slots are <laughs> overlapping the box and I can't, I can only drag it side to side right now. It's a bit funky, but it's looking, looking pretty modern. I'm liking the design so far. Um, you'll notice here's the deconstruct, the materials, all those are up at the top. You've got your mission items. You've got your currency. Some weird stuff is showing up. Like I got ranked nine season tokens. I don't know if that will show up in the final version. And uh, you'll notice that this chunk, this widget, this inventory design is what you'll also see showing up on the new character sheet. So it's like they were able to like copy paste it over onto the character sheet, which I thought was pretty cool. And what else has changed? Oh yeah, on the character sheet, I also want to show you this title button. <laughs> this is what something looks like when it's not quite finished yet. I thought you guys uh, might like to see it though. It's pretty, pretty funky in its current state. I'm pretty sure that one's uh, probably gonna be changed in the future. Uh, one more fun little thing that I saw when I was poking around. Um, not, most of the other stuff hasn't changed except for the text has become clear is the explore tab. So there's galaxy map, you know, that one's, that one's normal. And then there's ship. I know what ship hangar is. That's for galactic starfighter, but what was ship? So ships actually your ship equipment for doing space missions. I thought that was really cute. It is no longer a part of your character tab. Rest in peace, ship. You have been moved to your own little section, which is kind of nice because you don't really need to access it most of the time. As far as I can tell, that's most of the changes to the UI. Um, I couldn't really find anything else that has changed. Uh, one thing that isn't quite a UI change, but is a change, is that Conquest now takes 100,000 points to complete versus the current. The current game cost half of that. It only takes 50,000 points to reach. I don't know if this is a change that they're making for sure or if it's something that just got mistyped on the test server, but expect conquest to be a little harder in the future. As far as I can tell, most of the actual conquest objectives are pretty much the same. For example, I could still go run my space mission and get 43,000 points <laughs> in, in about three minutes flat without having to do anything. So you may have to complete your conquest on seven characters instead of 14 per week. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this little sneak peek at the new UI, which kind of matches the uh, Galactic Seasons and Daily Login Reward UI that we saw on the live server. If you want to see more similar videos about what's coming up in Star Wars The Old Republic, please subscribe to this channel. And if you want to support these awesome first look videos, please visit centerista.com support. As always, may the invisible gun be with you.